my channel. My name is Cheryl. Thank you very much for joining me. If you're a new viewer, hello, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Today, whoops, I moved the camera. Today we're sitting in my living room. I have a fireplace ambiance on with a little bit of wintry um, sounds. Um, the reason why I have that on is because my landlord's upstairs can be kind of noisy, so I'm hoping this will deter from the noise upstairs. So I hope you like it. It's, I don't know if I can show you. All right, let's turn this around. Can you see? I don't know if you can see, but I just have an ambient. Oh, sorry, I moved that fast. I'm sorry. I'm just, I just have a fireplace with a snow setting. It's got a bit of wind and snow noise. So let's see what it's called. Hang on, I'll find out what it's called. Serene Winter Porch Ambience Cozy Winter with Crackling Fire. It is by the channel Relax Fireplace. So just so you know, I will link it below if I remember. <laughs> so today we're going to do a um, kind of a list video. I've seen these go around the YouTubes for a long time. It is the certain amount of books you want to read before you turn a certain age. So, um, on Sunday, today is, what is today, Thursday? I think today's Thursday. I'm not even sure. It's the 14th today. Sunday is the 17th. So that means it, I can't math, I'm too tired. Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday. It's Thursday today, right? 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th. Sunday, Saturday, Friday. Yes, it's Thursday today. If I'm wrong, don't call me out. I'm tired, okay? But <laughs> today, um, so I'm turning 47 on the 17th of November. Yes, I'm that old. I know my voice makes me sound like I'm two, but I'm, I'm literally going to be 47. And um, first of all, I just want to say, for my birthday, my roommate is going, she's not going away for my birthday, but she's going away that weekend. And so I decided to do a 24-hour readathon and record it for you. I'm going to try and do a 24 hour straight readathon, like go through straight 24 hours. I'm very excited for it. So you can um, look for that video coming up probably on Wednesday of next week, Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm very excited for it. So um, I'm starting on the 16th and going through to the 17th. Very excited. I've got so many plans. But. Um, Today, we're doing a 50 before 50 because, like I said, I'm turning 47, so it's three years before I'm 50. Yes, I know how to math that much. And um, I have 50 books I want to read before I turn 50. So let's go through the list. I'm very excited. Now, caveat, there are some classics in here, but not all of them are classics. Some of them are modern books. Some of them are fiction. I don't know if any of them are nonfiction. I can't remember. I made the list a few days ago. Honestly, my memory is like a chipmunk. I just, I don't, I don't remember what I wrote. So it'll be, <laughs> we'll go through it together and it'll be like a surprise for both of us. I have it all written in this handy dandy, what do you call it? Notebook. That's what they're called. Okay. Oh, I do have some nonfictions. So first, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books by my favorite author, L.M. Montgomery, or Lucy Maud Montgomery. Um, which, by the way, Chantel from Chantel Reads All Day just did a video today, just put up a video that I'm very excited about. It is a mod read-along. I'm very excited about it. But anyways, um, so I'll put the pictures one of the places, and here we go. The first is to read the first three books, or the three journals of Ellen Montgomery. I believe there's only three, but I'm not sure. I only have volumes two and three, so I have to find volumes one. But they are literally the journals of Ellen Montgomery. So I do have some nonfiction. 
So those are the first three, Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3. And then Emily of New Moon, which I have started reading, and um, I am enjoying it. Yes, that book. I've started reading that book. I'm enjoying it. So I want to read that. And then I read want to read the other two in that series. That's three. I want to read the other two in that, that trilogy, which is Emily Klein's and Emily's Quest. And then I also want to read A Tangled Web because I started reading that book and I DNF'd it. Soft DNF'd it. I wanted to come back to it. I just never did. So, which is good because none of those books are in Chantel's mod read-along. So I'm very excited. I do still want to do an L.M. Montgomery video, like a big, long, very long vlog on reading all of Ella Montgomery's books and short stories. That's going to take a while, but I'm going to start really working on it again because if you know, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I deleted accidentally all my footage. I was very upset about it of my um, Ella Montgomery books that I read that I put in a document in like a, a file on my computer and for some weird reason, I deleted it. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. But, um, so now, now I have to reread those books and get not an authentic first reaction. <laughs> but anyways, I mean, to be fair, I only read like a few of the books. Like, I think I only read two or three of the books. So, you know, I could do that. Anyways, I do want to start doing that video for sure in January of 2025. So, those are the one, two, three, four, five, seven, not six. I know how to count. Seven Ella Montgomery books. And then number eight, I want to read Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo, Six of Crows, and Crooked Kingdom. Those, okay, Rune and Rising is the third book in the Shadow and Bone series. I've read Rune and Right, no, I've read Shadow and Bone. I believe I've read Siege and Storm. I'm not sure if I did or not, so I might have to read that too. But I know I haven't read Rune and Rising, so I need to read that one to finish that trilogy. And then I want to read Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom because everybody loves that more than the Six of Crows. I mean, more than, you can tell I'm tired more than the um, Shadow and Bone series. So I'm gonna read those. And then there's also like King of Scars that I think it's a duology, I don't remember, but I kinda wanna read those too. But those are the books I wanna put for sure before in 50. Which, this is doable. This is very doable to do before I turn 50. That's three years to do this. On average, I read about 100 books a year, which I just made my goal, 100 books. I'm very excited. It's only November, so I'm very excited about that. Okay, next, we have number 11. We have um, the Tudor Queen series by Alison Weir. I started reading Catherine of Aragon a long time ago, was really enjoying it, but I never finished it. Um, I don't remember why. I think I got it from the library and I had to bring it back. I don't remember, but I want to read Catherine of Aragon, The True Queen, Alison Weir, like I said. Number 12 is Anne Boleyn, A King's Obsession, which is number two in the series. I don't know if you have to read, like I looked up the reading order. If anybody's read the Alison Weir series, the Tudor Queens, do you have to read the other books that are in the reading order? Because in the reading order online, it has like two or three books before Catherine of Aragon. Do you have to read those before Catherine of Aragon? I'm not even sure. Let me know. I will see if I can remember to link the website I found the reading order on because I'm kind of confused on that. Okay. I think it's just publication order. I don't think it's reading order, but I'm not sure. So if you know, let me know, okay? These are historical fiction about the six Tudor queens, in case you never knew. Oh, I didn't even mention Rune and Rising and Six of Crows and Cookie Kingdom are all YA fantasy. I feel like we all know that. 
Um, Anne Bolena, King's Obsession, Jane Seymour, The Haunted Queen, Anna of Cleve, The Prince, I don't know why I said that, Cleve, I don't know why I said it that way, um, The Princess in the Portrait, which I'm very excited to read. After listening to uh, The Six Musical, I'm just so excited to read these books. I love that musical. I watched a, um, a, a fan's um, video of it on of it live on YouTube that was put up illegally. But anyways, I watched that. I also am um, subscribed to YouTube Premium, so I listened to the six live musical um, uh, album. I'm so tired. The album. And I love, I've listened to that on repeat. I just love that musical. So I'm looking forward to reading these um, to see how different or same they are. Um, Catherine Howard, The Scandalous Queen. Catherine Parr, The Sixth Wife. So those are numbers 11 to 16. Number 17 and number 18, 19, 20, and 21 are the rest of the books in the Seven Sisters series by Lucinda Riley. These are the historical fiction. They got a bit of romance. It's two timelines, one in the past, one in the present, which the present was 2000s. Um, I'm really enjoying that series. So I have The Pearl Sister, which is book four, I believe. The Moon Sister, The Sun Sister, The Missing Sister. And then her son, because Lucinda Riley sadly passed away, R.I.P. And um, she, her son finished the, the next book that she had planned, which is Atlas, the Story of Paul Salt. So I want to read that one as well. And then 22 are some classics. Okay, this is where I start some classics. I'm not a classic girly. I do enjoy them. It's just they're hard for me to get through, but I do enjoy them. They're just, I read them slower, okay? So we have David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. I have started this book many times and just haven't finished it. I was enjoying it. I do like Dickens writings. I know a lot of people don't, but I enjoy it. Uh, Little Woman by Louisa May Alcott. Um, again, I've started it, haven't finished it. Lame is Rabla by Victor, Vic, I was going to say Victoria, Victor Hugo. Um, I have that book and I just want to read it. I don't know why, I just do. War and Peace, I don't have who it's by, but you know, um, War and Peace, is that by, um, Dostoevsky? I can't even remember. Or is War and Peace... The one by um, Gaskell. I can't remember. I'll put it up here. I feel like Crime and Punishment is Dostoevsky. I always get those two mixed up. War and Peace is the one I want to read. And then 26 is Weathering Heights by Emily Bronte, which I have started. Again, haven't finished, but I am enjoying it. I'm actually really enjoying it. I didn't think I would. I start, tried reading um, Weathering Heights back when I was about 16. Did not like it. My mom tried reading it to me because we both wanted to read it and I was having some health problems. So we decided, okay, let's read it together. <coughs> and um, she, we didn't have audiobooks back then, very, very accessible. And she wanted to read it to me because I was having some health problems and she would often read to me at night because it would calm me down. It would relax me. So she tried reading it to me and we both were like, no, no. But I did start reading it this year, like probably about two months ago. And I was really enjoying it. And I did see the movie and really liked it. Uh, Shirley by Charlotte Bronte. I have read Jane Eyre and I just want to read Shirley. The Tower, the Tenant, not Tower, I can't read my own writing. The Tenant of Wellsville Hall by Anne Bronte. I just want to read something from each of the Brontes. And I've heard The Tenant of Wildfell Hall is really good. I've heard a lot of people, that's their favorite Bronte book, so. Wayward by Amelia Hart. This is a modern book. It came out, I think, last year. I'm not sure. 
it's a book about witches and um, not necessarily witches, but people who were like women who were thought to be witches. And it's got, I believe, three timelines. So I'm very excited to read it. I do have it on hold at my library and I want to read that. It is fiction, but I think some of it is pulled from history. So I really want to read Children of Virtue and Vengeance and Children of Anguish and Anarchy by Tommy Adeyemi. Tommy Adeyemi? Not sure. Um, I loved Children of Blood and Bone. Not heard the best about the other two. And Anguish and Anarchy just came out. And I've heard of nothing. Like, nobody's talking about it. And people did not like Virtue and Vengeance. But I'm excited to read it. I think I will like it. But I do have to reread Children of Blood and Bone. I did not put rereads on here, but I have tons of rereads I want to read as well. So let me know if you want me to do a 50 rereads. I want to reread. That doesn't make sense. 50 books I want to reread before I'm 50. I will do that list if you are interested in that. Okay, next is Robin Hobb. Now, I know Robin Hobb has a, like, I think it's 16 or 15 book series in, in the, the realm of the Elderlings. I would like to commit to the first three, so the Farseer trilogy. I've heard that is kind of like the, um, the, the common thought you should start at the Farseer trilogy. I have started reading Assassin's Apprentice, DNF'd it, but not because I wasn't enjoying it. I just wasn't in the right mind space to read it. So I do want to read that trilogy and potentially the rest of the Realm of the Elderlings. Um, next, we have some Christian fiction. We have Pretense by Lori Wick. Okay, this one I bought on Kindle because did I buy it or did I just get it on Kindle Limited? I don't remember, but... Oh, excuse me. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, how rude. Um, Pretense by Lori Wick is a book that came out many, many years ago. I have never finished that book, even though I was absolutely adoring it. I started reading it probably 25 years ago. Really loved it. Never finished it. Just whew, never finished it. And then um, I started rereading it again, um, just, I mean, it, can you call it a reread if you never finished it? Um, I mean, I got about halfway through and just, I don't know what happened. I just never finished it. I don't know why your guess is good as mine. I don't know. But um, I do want to read that. Oh, I do have a reread on here. <gasps> oh, my bad. Okay. So I just noticed I want to read the Woman of Hope series by Robin Lee Hatcher. This is another Christian author. The books came out years ago. And the reason why I say rereads is because one of them out of the five is a reread. But I did not know when I read this that it was fourth in an interconnecting series. I did not know that. So I kind of want to read the other four and then read it in order and reread the one I read. Does that make sense? So the first one is Ribbon of Years. I don't know what they're about. All I know is they're Christian fiction. I believe they have romance. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> Ribbon of Years, The Victory Club, Beyond the Shadows, The Forgiving Hour, which is the book I read, absolutely loved. I will talk about it in a moment. And then Firstborn. Those are the five in the Women of Hope series by Robin Lee Hatcher. I don't know if they're interconnected or if they're just kind of like how Jeanette Oak wrote the, at the same time, wrote, um, what was it, the Wild Women of the West or whatever. They never actually connected, but they were just different stories in the same series. I don't know if that's what happened, but The Forgiving Hour, I remember reading when I was about, probably about 18, 19 I know that's that's so long ago. And just being in awe at how powerful this book was. So this is a book, The Forgiving Hour, is about a married woman who finds out that her longtime husband, they've been married a long time, 
or no, not at the beginning. In the beginning, they had just gotten married. And she found out that her husband and father of her son was having an affair with a younger woman. And she leaves them. And so we've got that timeline. The second timeline is her meeting her now grown son's fiance and realizing the fiance is the woman her husband had an affair with years ago. That is such a harsh. I I just I remember being in awe at that premise. At that I'm I'm losing my mind yet. At that premise. Like how do you how do you deal with that? And the way Robin Lee Hatcher wrote that book and that um premise just was so beautiful. It it really hit me as a 19-year-old wanting to get married someday, which I'm still hoping. And um, it just, it was beautiful. So um, I want to reread that one. But that's the whole five book series of Woman of Hope by Rob Lee Hatcher. That was a bit of a book review. I'm sorry. Um, next, we have two more Christian fiction. We have The Witness by Dee Henderson. I'm kind of going back into my Christian fiction era I used to only read Christian fiction back when my mom was alive. Um, and I loved Christian fiction. And these are some of my favorites from then um, that I never really got in, never read. So I did read uh, Dee Henderson's series, the, um, what's it, the O'Malley series. Really love that. I would love to reread those books. But I, I did own The Witness by Dee Henderson, never finished it. Again, I was big on starting books and not finishing them. To be fair, I still am. But, but I do want to read that one. That is about a woman, again, another hard-hitting one, about a woman, I believe, who gets accused of abusing her child. I'm not sure. I don't remember for sure, but that one. I think she gets accused of abusing her child by her ex-husband. But I'm not sure. that I might be just pulling that out of the air. I don't remember. Um, but I want to read that. I can get it on Kindle Unlimited, I believe. Next is a more modern Christian fiction. It is The Letter Tree by Rachel Fordham. I did, again, start reading this. I never finished it. Yeah. Um, so I want to finish that book. Rachel Fordham has been recommended several times by a few booktubers that I watch, a few Christian booktubers. And um, I definitely want to read more of her books. And I would like to finish the letter tree. I believe that is all the Christian fiction. And then number 43, we have number 43, 44, 45, and 46 are Kristen Hanna books. If you don't know, I love Kristen Hanna. She is a great historical, uh, hard-hitting, um, beautiful author. Um, her books are beautiful is what I mean. I'm assuming she's beautiful too because everybody's beautiful in their own way. <laughs> but I just love her books. And um, I want to read Winter Garden, which I really want to read. Firefly Lane. Fly Away, which is Firefly Lane Book 2, and Magic Hour. I do own Magic Hour, so I want to read that one for sure. And I do want to read the other three. And then 47, 48, 49, and 50 are the four books of the Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. So they are the Thursday Murder Club, which I own, The Man Who Died Twice, which I own, and the... Bullet That Missed, and The Last Devil to Die. I read um, the book We Solve Murders by Richard Osman, which is in the Goodreads Choice Awards. So make sure you go and vote on that because that's exciting. And I voted for him on the Goodreads Choice Awards. I, I just, I'm so excited for that book. I loved it. It was hilarious. It was so good. Which, by the way, I'm going on a bit of a tangent here, but I did a video saying my predictions for the mystery thrillers of Goodreads Choice Awards this year. To let you know, I got 12, possibly 13 correct. I know I got 12. 
the 13th, I'm not sure if I put in the video or if I just thought it might be on there. So I'll have to go back and check. But I'm very excited about that. I'm very happy with that. But, um, yeah, I didn't do a reaction video. I also didn't do the historical fiction predictions, which I was planning on doing. So I'm sorry. But um, I did get a couple right on that. So um, I voted for The Woman by Kristen Hanna. Loved that book so much. I also voted for the woman in the audiobook category, which the audiobook category, how do we feel about that? I like it. Um, this is just a whole tangent on Goodreads Choice Words now. I do like the audiobook category. The only thing I don't like is they did not list the narrators on it. Like you would think if they had an audiobook narrator, an audiobook category, they would list the narrators. Like, that would just make sense. In my mind, that makes sense. Anyways, Julia Whalen did The Woman by, um, <laughs> that didn't sound good. Oh my goodness. I, I have a bad mind. Um, <laughs> Julia Whalen narrated The Woman, um, by Kristen Hanna, and she, Julia Whalen is one of my two favorite audiobook narrators. The other one, in case you're wondering, is Bernadette Dunn, who does the, um, Meg Langso series by Donna Andrews. Love those audiobooks. But Julie Whalen does uh, the um, The Woman by Chris Nahanna. So I voted for that in the audiobooks, in case you're wondering. <laughs> okay, so that is the 50 books I want to read before I'm 50. I'm very excited to read these books. Honestly, I might actually do that... 50 books I want to reread before I'm 50 because that would be more of a challenge to me because these books I do plan on reading. I'm very excited. If you want to see a video where I list the 50 books I want to reread, let me know in the comments below. But, I mean, I probably will do it, knowing me. Um, but I'm very excited to do this. Look forward. You can uh, look for the books. The No, the video uh, where I do the 24-hour readathon coming up next week. I'm very excited to do it. It is my first full 24-hour readathon. I'm very excited. I'm so excited. So, um, and I'm, like I said, my roommate will be gone, so I'll be able to update during the night without waking her up. I'll still have to be a bit quiet because I have people upstairs, but I'm very excited for doing that. So, um, yeah, let me know in the comment below if you made it through the whole video. And if you have a video where you say like 40 before 40 or 50 before 50, whatever, let me know and I will definitely watch that. And um, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Do you have a book? I forgot to ask how you're doing. How are you doing? Are you doing good? I hope you're doing good. I hope that everything is going well. If you're living in the Northern Hemisphere, um... Winter is coming. It's it's sad. I mean, I love winter, so I'm not sad. I love being cold, so. But I know a lot of people like summer. I'm the opposite. I, you know how people get seasonal depression during the winter? I get seasonal depression during the summer, so. Go me for being different, eh? Anyways, um... Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Do you have a video, I mean a book, not a video, a book that you want to read desperately, say in 2025? Do you have a book that you desperately want to read in 2025 or a series? Let me know and we can talk all things books in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day and God bless you. Bye.